Today we're going to learn how to type properly. The method we'll be learning today is called touch typing. Touch typing is basically a style of typing where you do not require a sense of sight to type. First step is to find a keyboard that you want to practice with. Make sure you are constantly using the same keyboard when practicing touch typing so that you get used to the keyboard layout and the keyboard angles. For me, I'll be using a GK61 kit keyboard. It has a wood case with a GK61 PCB, brass plate, knockoff GMK Honor keycaps, Everglide Panda plate mounted stabilizers, and loop milky yellows. I currently type with 4 fingers on my left hand and 1 finger from my right hand. This is a very common typing method for most gamers because our left hand is always on WASD which makes our left hand more familiarized with the keyboard layout compared to our right hand which is always on the mouse. So let's get started. I'll be using this website called keyber.com K-E-Y-B-R.com This website allows you to practice different letters at your own pace and only when you're comfortable and able to achieve a decent WPM they will move on to the next letter. So to start off, we'll be keeping our index fingers on home rule and just practice. It will feel slightly awkward when you're using your right hand, ring fingers and middle fingers to press your keys, but trust me, you'll get used to it. As for the spacebar, you're going to be using your thumbs. There's no right or wrong answer, you can use both left or your right thumb. So for the first day, we're going to start off by practicing all of the alphabets on keyboard.com and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done with that. I took about an hour to complete all of the letters on the keyboard.com. Felt really awkward on my right hand, especially my ring finger and my middle finger. I'm not used to pressing the L and P keys with uh, my other fingers. So for now, we're going to do a test on our first day on monkey type to see what's our WPM. Okay, we're back with day 2, we're going to continue using keyboard.com, practice all of our alphabets, get more familiarized with the keys, and then we'll move on to monkey type for a longer practice session. Okay, now that we're done with keyboard.com, this time around it took me around 20 minutes compared to the first try which was an hour, so there's definitely improvement. Compared to yesterday, I feel much more comfortable using my right hand to press on the keys, but one thing I notice is that whenever I'm trying to type fast, I will press the space bar way ahead of time before finishing my word so just take note if you guys are rushing and facing the same problem just be more conscious of whenever you're pressing your space bar so now let's hop on to monkey type for yeah, our typing test and see what's our WPM now and this time around I'll be doing a few typing tests with normal words because keyword.com uses like weird ass words so on monkey type we're gonna practice normal words For our final day, we won't be using keyboard, we're just gonna be using monkey type and practicing for about 20 minutes before doing our final typing test to find out what's my WPM after learning how to touch type properly. You can't compare your touch typing WPM to your old typing method because you have gotten so used to your old typing method. So over time, your touch typing speed will go even higher than your old typing method and I'm pretty sure of that. 
I think this is a good conclusion that I have learned how to touch type properly at a decent words per minute. Don't worry too much about your speed, focus more on your accuracy and then your endurance and then speed finally. Your speed will catch up to you by itself. I would definitely recommend that you start off with 15 seconds typing test to 30 seconds and then finally 60 seconds to build that endurance. I would definitely recommend this to anyone who haven't tried touch type. It's definitely something you want to try out for an experience and all you need is one hour a day to practice. At the end of three days, I'm pretty sure you have picked up a new skill and improved yourself. Like this video if you think you're gonna try it out. Comment down below what's your fastest WPM and subscribe if you want to. It's free, you can unsubscribe anytime you want. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.